Morning. Just me and my dad today. Um, so I'm going to be on the straw blower. It's looking a nice like autumn morning, isn't it? A bit of like mist. Uh, yeah, It'll be a nice day, I think. It is seven degrees though, so I'm happy to have my hat on. Um, if you guys like this sort of farming content, then please remember to press that like button because um, it really helps send our videos out to other people and subscribe if you've not already. Right, I'm going to jump on the strobo. So we've got a pickup parked in the shed. And here we are, we've got the straw blower. Just check that Andy's cut the bands. He always does, because he's good like that. And we'll jump on here and get some uh, cows bedded up. Cattle bedded up. Cattle, cattle. Out we go. Even put the heating on in this tractor a bit, but does everybody else get this? Put heating on, it steams up straight away. It's like you've got to leave it running for like however long so everything gets up to temperature, and then you can put heating on and then it'll steam up. But if you put it on straight away, it always steams up in these John Deere's. Dad's down there feeding out on the TM, mm. and I'll get back here. We'll just pull this bale in and then we'll cut the bands. And of course, I've lost my Milwaukee one, so I'm back to Amazon Basics crap knife. I think it's the second Milwaukee one I've lost, and they're not like they're cheap either. They are good, but I love it turns up a good tractor somewhere. So I've just opened the gates now, and my dad's feeding in the big shed here. Still got to straw these up. Hello, fella. Hello. Hello. Do you like a scratch there? Eh? You like that? Aberdeen Angus, absolutely fantastic. Soft as a brush, aren't you, mate? Eh? So we'll get these fed and then we'll get them bedded up in here. Lovely. Still here now, look. Come on then. <laughs> Just walking in the grass field. Still plenty of grass in here. Let's come to check on this one down here because he's on his own for some reason. So I'm just going to walk her back to her mates and we'll get her in the crush and see if she's alright. She doesn't seem too bad, but when they're still on their own, it's a bad sign. Carla herd animals they like to stick together. So when one's away, it means that the the weaker one, or usually anyway, and uh, yeah, so we'll probably just start to have a look at her and just see what we can make of uh, whether she's feeling cold or hot or something like along them lines. Probably something just a bit amiss. So we're just going in here now with the spreader bale. This cold is really getting to me now. up by the looks of it. This is the shed we mucked out the other day. Thank you very much. Two starting issues. And away we go. Oh, these guys are coming up here though now. So my brother's here somewhere, I don't know where. Um, but he's here. Ah, these two a picture. This one stands behind the barbed wire, so there's two, two fences there to stop from eating the bushes. And for some reason, he can get in, uh, in between the two fences. Everyone always thinks he's stuck, but he's not. He just likes standing in there for some reason. Hey, old Ben, you come to help me? No. I thought so. So, I've just had coffee time. Uh, I've got another couple of bales of straw to do and a mix. And then I've got to check around all the cattle just to make sure everything's all right. Um, that one that we fetched in from the field, I, ne I never actually said, but um, we gave that an injection of Hexasol. Just in case, it's... I don't think it was that bad, but there's just something not right with it. So, um, yeah, just it's normally better just to get him 
when the just the what the warning signs are there rather than waiting for something to happen and then inject it so um yeah the warning signs were it's on its own it's got a little bit of a snotty nose just didn't look 100 percent happy right i'm gonna get back on here anyway we're gonna get on so we're back blowing straw just putting my second bale in down here I could direct it like that, but usually I just drive, uh, drive without moving it so much. And there we go. So I've just come in the shed. What I really love on a Sunday is when, um, I'm not sure who fetched this in. Was it Ben or was it? I'm not sure. Anyway, I need that machine in the back there. So I've got to move this one, which is a pain. But actually, I do need to move it anyway, so... Forget it, I'm moaning about nothing. I need to do a mix anyway, so I don't need to pull it out. I was just thinking, like, oh, I need to put some hay out. Which I do, and I'd like to do that first, but I'm going to have to move this. So basically, I'm moaning about nothing, so I'm going to shut up now. Because I'm... Yeah. Bye. I'm going to blame it on this cold. I just feel like... Mm. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Blame it on the cold. Anyway, nine meters out. I've got the spikes on. We're gonna get some hair, put it out of here so we've got plenty for the pens that need it. So I can bucket it out. And we're gonna get a round bale and we're gonna put that into a pen that's sort of transitioning now. They've been here a bit of time. Probably been here like, I don't know, two or three weeks, something like that. The round bales are a bit poorer quality here. They're sort of moving off, going on to full feed. So we'll just put that in so they can have a nibble at it if they want to. And um, yeah, and he set some straw out as well, so it gets busy on a Sunday. It wouldn't be, like if it was just me and Andy, we'd have done by now. Fine, jobs would be done, everybody would probably be at home. I'd just have to feed up. But when you're on your own, it makes a bit of a difference. Like two people, it really helps the job along. So I put the round bale of hay in now, and now we're just putting the mixer on. Nice blue skies today. So I've just climbed the steps onto the mixer show you it going round now this is our pre-mix um, on top of this I've got molasses to put in and the barley slash wheat um, that we've ground so yeah this is probably about a third full now but then when the weight of the other stuff gets on it compacts it down a bit more but uh, yeah I think we can turn this off so I've just got that turned off now and now I'm off down to the house Sunday lunch time beef Yorkshire pudding all that business um, maybe I'll have to have a few more vegetables, a few less potatoes, a few less Yorkshire puddings because I'm trying to get back in shape, you know what I mean? Um, I ought to start cycling to work, you know, like I am. Mm, winter's a bit of a bad choice though, innit? Mm, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow never comes, does it? Well, anyway, I went in, in the, and uh, I thought, well, it's taking a long time, it's like 10 past 1 now. Like, what? Well, we're on with our dinner by now. Anyway, all the uh, clocks in the tractors are still on. Old time, nobody's changed them. And that's what I'd gone off. So, I think what I'll do is I'll, uh, when we get this mix finished off, and, uh, and then that's tack tacked off for this uh, this afternoon. So, I've just jumped on the 9 metre. Um, what I'm going to do is get some of my wood and put it under cover. I've got some of it outside, it's getting a bit wet, so I pull it in and yeah, then I've got plenty of wood for the log burner. Keep everybody happy at home. So I shifted the trailer out and now I'm just going to get a few pieces from there, chuck them in this box and then we can put that under cover and it should dry out a little bit. So I'll fill my box up, we'll get this put under the shed and then um, I should have enough wood for the next couple of months. So I've just had my roast beef and... I'd come back out. The Hilux is going in for a service and MOT tomorrow, so I better drop the trailer off. Um, what a weapon that is. Like, literally, I don't think we've have ever had any issues with it. Um, tires and wearing parts, that's it. Uh, it doesn't do a lot, but it's, um, yeah, just super reliable. Like, cannot beat it. I wouldn't like to say how long we've had it. It uh, seems to have been here forever. Uh, it's missing a few bits. 
I think that were leaving it in field and cows uh, getting round it and attacking it. This was my brother's handiwork, this uh, this little mess here. But um, yeah, it's always just kept going and it's reliable. It's, you know, I'm not saying it's like Range Rover comfortable, but it's not bad. You can do a long journey in it and not feel like you've been in a defender. And yeah, everything works. You want to put it in four wheel drive? Just use the lever. Brilliant. Don't have to twist a little like, electronic thing that's going to go wrong. You just put it in and it's done. Uh, got mod comms. It's got cruise control. What more do you need, eh? It's got windscreen wipers. Look at that. Yeah, it's just all round beast. Only thing that's crap about, and it's just any pickup, is that they're just huge. Like you take them to a car park and they're just, yeah, massive. But um, that's not what they're there for, is it? I mean, it very rarely goes to a car park, so it's just a beast. Anyway, I'm going to help Asher's dad and brother out and um, we'll blast the, the muck off these wheel arches so they can do the servicing MOT in a relative cleanliness. Because it is a bit built up on there. Totally my fault, like, uh, with my off-road driving the other day, picking those cows up. Having to dry the camera off here in South Yorkshire. The rain's really coming down. Um, but what I wanted to do while we've got the mixer out in the sunshine is do mix mentions for today. It is Trudy Larkworth, who is 50, the big 5-0. Congratulations, happy birthday from Alfie and Rory, who are your grandsons. So brilliant. Thanks everybody who's donated to the Yorkshire Ambulance, saving lives, well over 2,000 pound now for them, which I think, after watching Ollie's videos, I think that's a mission, is it? So we've helped save somebody's life, definitely 100%. Um, fantastic, and thanks for everybody who um, still watches the videos, even when we're doing the mixed mention bits, because sometimes, you know, they're not personal to everyone, but you still watch through it. Brilliant, thank you very much, appreciate it. If you do want to get your name on the mixer though, quite easy to do. There's a link in most of the descriptions to my videos, if I remember to put the descriptions in. Normally I do, but there's a link there to Just Giving page. The money goes directly to the charity. Doesn't touch me at all, can't spend it. Um, so yeah, it goes straight to them and then they can use it for whatever they want. So um, yeah, like I say, link in the description below if you want to get your name on there. Doesn't have to be for a birthday, it can be for anything. Anything you want, anything, as long as you're donating a little bit to your share ambulance. So in all this rain, I'm just going around feeding these cows. Yeah, it looks like the Highlands are happy over there. Eating away. This is what I love about the nine meter, just a pure reach. So I'm just dropping this uh, bale of hay in here. Do a bit of tidying up to do, but it's done. These guys will be happy. Then, come on, that's the way. Come on, good boy. Come on then. Come on. Right, while I'm. Um, just pushing this A up, making sure it's not all on the floor. Um, I thought it'd be a good time to put in Andy's little clip that we did last night um, about his new little project that he's thinking of starting. So um, yeah, here it is, Andy from last night. So this is a clip from yesterday. Got Andy, uh, what, what's this you're wearing Andy? My new jumper. So tell everyone what you're thinking then Andy. Yeah, just playing with the idea of this. It's a crazy bull. Yeah. Um, yeah, just looking at doing like jumpers, um, sweatshirts, shirts, gilets. Bits and bobs. Oh, it's even got a thing on back. Yeah. So this is this is Andy's business. This is Andy's sideline, his little hustle yeah. that yeah, he's going to do. Little, uh, what do people think that... Um... What do people like? What would they like with that design? With the bull. So we've got the bull's head. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Strong so masculine bull this, there. This is currently printed. But it's just early days, so we want to like stitch really. Stitch is going to be better. Yeah, nice embroidered yeah. logo and stuff. Definitely. And maybe one up back as well. Yeah. yeah. There we go, you see? So, yeah, what do people think? Let us know in the comments. And then Andy can start uh, his little side, side business. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure if you've got any hints or tips for Andy, then um, let him know in the comments below. Um, I know he's been passionate about this for... Um, 
Okay. Um, <laughs> for, for quite a few months now, but it's only in the last three or four weeks that he's got something made up. And um, yeah, so we can see it. So if I can help him out in any way, I'll help him out and I'm sure you guys will as well. So um, yeah, just let him know what your, your thoughts are in the comments below. Business, cheers guys. I'm gonna shift from here in a minute and let these guys have their hair. You all right, you friendly? Yes? Um, if you have liked today's video though, remember to press that like button and subscribe. It really does genuinely help us out. It's free to subscribe. It's not like a subscribing, it's not a paid thing. It's just like literally just click, tick a box, I think, is it? I don't know, somebody will tell me. And um, it just means that you'll be notified of uh, our videos when they come out or if we do a live and things like that. Um, yeah, Andy's back tomorrow. No M tomorrow. Um, she is back on Tuesday. But um, we might try and get some more cows in or we might be vaccinating cows. I think it's going to be a lot cow oriented stuff in a minute. Um, but what's not to like about these guys, eh? I'm trying to eat my overalls. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you later. Bye. Got one here that is like loving me scratch. <laughs> He's trying to bite my finger, I think. Hey, aren't you? Hey, hey. <laughs> so look at your teeth. So look at your teeth. Baby teeth, haven't you? Oh. <laughs> You're lovely, aren't you? Anyway, on that note, guys, I'm off. I think. Oh, oh, kiss, kiss. Mm.